Hi, I'm Ona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is your extra, extra, read all about it uh, for all signs uh, for February 3rd, 2020. <clears throat> I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. Okay, um, please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone out there might like them. Also, these videos may or may not resonate, okay, um, to my subscribers. Welcome back to the channel. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I am so glad that you are here. All right, so grab your coffee and let's get started with this extra, extra read all about it for February 3rd, 2020. Now these cards are already pre-shuffled, but I'm going to go ahead and do another quick little shuffle here so I can get the general energy of today's reading, okay? This is for February 3rd, 2020. Extra, extra, read all about it. General energy for today is... Wow, the world, completion. Something has been completed. There's been a completion of a cycle. Perhaps you're integrating somebody into your life, okay? Perhaps you have accomplished something or maybe you're going to travel. All right, so let's see what we have next for extra, extra, read all about it for February 3rd, 2020. What are the first set of cards? Extra, extra, read all about it. So the first set of cards are, whoops, we do have the Knight of Coins. So there might be um, some sort of message involving financial security or stability, okay? Um, we also have the Empress card, okay, first person out, first person out in the reading. Next we have, whoa, the king of coins. So the message might be actually coming from the king of coins. We'll see, you know. Wow, the knight of cups. So we have a message coming in of financial security, right? We do have the empress here, and we have the king of coins, okay? Um, somebody could be coming in or sending a message of financial security, and it does look like maybe this king, king of coins is possibly also sending in a message of uh, emotional stability, okay? And that's, that's always nice, I guess, right? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what's going on. All right, so the, the next cards we have coming out, we have the Six of Swords. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, somebody's coming. Somebody's coming for someone, and they are trying to manifest this. Somebody's definitely trying to manifest this situation to come to fruition. Wow, King of Coins and the King of Swords. Whoa, could be the same person holding the same energy, okay? Next, we have uh, the Tower. Whoa, so there's going to be an emotional message coming in, a message about an ending. All right, darn, you guys. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe it's an ending for you. Maybe it's an ending for someone else. Or maybe somebody's coming in to tell you about an ending. Okay? So what are the next cards we have for February 3rd, 2020? February 3rd, 2020. Okay. <clears throat> February 3rd, 2020. February 3rd, 2020. February 3rd, 2020. Okay, so the next cards we have out are <clears throat> the Ten of Coins. So somebody could be moving towards you because you hold the Ten of Coins energy or somebody's coming into somebody who's got Ten of Coins or they're bringing in the Ten of Coins, right? We have the Queen of Coins. So the Empress could be holding the energy of the Queen of Co Coins, all right? having that financial security and stability. And she's looking at the past for some reason, though, okay? She's looking back at something. Um, it does seem, I actually think that these two kings are one and the same, and these this person is looking. They are spying. They are watching. And they are having, a, they're being very patient in a situation, okay? So they could be going through something right now, and there may be some patience required here, Okay, <clears throat> I do see that somebody is definitely moving in to somebody. Somebody's going to bring in a message and they're going to come into you. 
could be uh, that they're going to be bringing in a message of security and stability, right? We also have this empress here. Now, this empress, I have a feeling that she's trying to manifest something. She could be trying to manifest the queen of coins, or she could be trying to manifest this energy coming uh, more stability in her life, okay? Uh, possibly somebody could be pregnant, okay? Or um, starting something brand new. And they are looking at somebody from the past. So maybe somebody is actually... Uh, trying to figure things out because when you see this card right here, you see this Merlin looking magician type guy and you see he's holding this crystal ball and that crystal ball is shining right there on the Queen of Coins. So it looks like she might be coming into some some flow, some cash flow and it, it could be in regards to this Empress or this could be the Empress uh, bringing in that cash flow and, and more of that uh, Queen of Coins energy, right? <clears throat> we also have this uh, King of... Uh, king of coins so the king of coins is kind of not looking forward not looking back kind of looking out into outer space and so is that that king of swords so i have a feeling that this is the one and the same person and i do see that this person is possibly um spying okay or or if it's two people they are spying okay um they're spying on somebody we do have a message from this night coming in a, a message of emotions and maybe they're going to tell you you know emotions could be any emotions this could be emotions of being upset right so somebody might be coming in with some news and ending a situation or coming in with news and telling you that they've ended a situation something like that but they're trying to watch you right now somebody's watching you and they're trying to to be patient here because they want to do the right thing okay <clears throat> let's find out what's going on next for february 3rd 2020 oh, let me i didn't even check if the cards were upside down or not let me see here real quick Okay, yeah, good thing we're okay. Okay, so let's keep going. February 3rd, 2020. February 3rd, 2020. What are the next set of cards for February 3rd, 2020? For this extra, extra, read all about it. The next cards we have out are we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so now we're dealing with the Queen of Cups. Somebody could be coming in to you, all right? A message could be coming from the Queen of Cups. Okay, now this could be male or female energy, whatever energy uh, you feel or whatever energy you're in at this time. You could be more in your uh, energy of your emotional side, right? Now we also have the Four of Wands here, all right? So the Empress could be involved with somebody or could there could be um, <clears throat> Four of Wands energy coming up here soon. Four of Pentacles. It does seem that this person who's holding these energies is hanging on to you. This person is very smart, and this person is financially stable. All right? They are like a uh, business owner, maybe, or a boss of some sort, right? <clears throat> but right now, they're just watching because maybe they're not sure about something. And it could have been that either they put you out in the cold in the past or you put them out in the cold in the past, okay? And uh, so this is why they're watching to see if it's maybe safe to come in and talk to you or talk to this uh, queen or something like that, right? What else do we have here? You know, you guys got to fit these characters into your own story here, okay? Uh, we Next, we have the Eight of Wands. So, Queen of Cups, maybe going to get a message coming in from her or you sending one out uh, or one going out. We also have the Five of Wands. Somebody kind of caught up in their head about a situation, about a union, about a marriage, a relationship, right? Now we have the Knight of Cups, okay? So, the Knight of Cups, we almost got all these knights showing up with messages here, right? All over the place, message of emotion of love of some sort, looking at the past. Um, I also do see here the emotional message that's coming in. That could be um, that could be deception. So somebody could be coming in and just wanting to, you know, hook up with you and then say, oh, I love you. We're going to stay together. We're going to be together. And the next thing you know, they're gone. And then when you try to call them, they don't call you back. They don't text back. You don't know where they're at. You don't know where they went. Or, or, you know, whatever. You can't even talk to them. So I do feel that if somebody's coming in with some sort of um, emotional message, 
that may, uh, I, I have a feeling that there's some deception in that message, some, something that's not true. Or they could be coming in with this message emotionally, telling you about how they were hurt, they were deceived, something like that. You know, take it how it resonates. Um, the next set of cards we have are the Ten of Cups. Whoa. Okay, so uh, there's going to be messages coming in for somebody about the Ten of Cups, and somebody's going to actually feel like it's a burden. All right. So maybe whoever's coming in with this message has a lot of like, I want you to do this. I need you to do that. I, you know, I don't want you to talk to people anymore. And if it's like that, yes, definitely a burden. You don't want somebody telling you what to do. And, you know, if you're an adult here, why would you need somebody telling you what to do? We have the six of swords here. So the person who's going to be impatient here is trying to come in and trying to come in and talk to you. Now, in this row, we have the queen of cups, right? Queen of Cups is here. She's going to receive a message of financial security and stability, right? And that message is the person's going to actually come in to you, okay? They're coming. They're coming your way. And they they are, they're coming her way. And they want to give her a message, um, a passionate message, and, and talk about, you know, getting together, possibly um, having a family and things like that. We have the Empress here. Possibly the Empress came into some money holding the energy of the Queen of Coins or could be dealing with the Queen of Coins, okay? Now, I do see here the, the Empress is in some sort of union. She's in a relationship, I think. And this and with this relationship, it's got her all caught up in her head. You know, she's been trying to manifest something here. Or she's not in a relationship or once coming her way, uh, she's been in her head about it. And this whole time, being in her head, thinking about things. It's just been a big old burden though, right? It's been a big old burden, whatever this relationship is. It could also be um, this empress having a, a relationship with the queen of coins, you know, could be two women, can be two men, okay? However you want to make, make that resonate. This could even also be a man and a woman. It could be just be two people holding those fem uh, feminine energies right now. But whatever it is, it's a, it's a darn burden, Okay, somebody's just like, this is too much. This is too much drama. So that could be an issue there, too. Now, this person who we're dealing with, this king of pentacles, and then we got that uh, king of swords underneath there. Somebody has been thinking about things. <clears throat> somebody has been thinking about how they're going to come into somebody else, right? They want to send a message of love. And they are financially secure, and they are watching you now. So maybe they're, wa or they're watching somebody. I think that the King of, of Pentacles actually is watching uh, the Queen of Pentacles, all right? He's trying to watch what she's doing. So this person, you may have been with them before. You may have had a past life relationship even with this person before. This could be your, your past life husband or something like that. Who knows? Um, but this person is going to come in with a message, all right? Because they've given it a lot of thought and they want to talk to you now. They, they can't let go of you. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, also, or they can't stop thinking about uh, the Empress or slash Queen of Coins, you know, however that resonates with you guys, you know. <clears throat> so I do see the Knight still coming in. The, the, the Knight's feeling left out in the cold, though, or has been feeling left out in the cold. The Knight of Cups, okay, possibly because uh, that Knight's been, you know, throwing his cups all over the place. Who knows, you know, but I do see we got the Knight of, Knight of Cups over there trying to bring a message in. Right, we got the Knight of Cups right here, and we got the Knight of Cups right here. So right here, I think this is one person. This is the uh, a combo of of Earth and um, Air. Okay, this this person has both of these energies possibly in their chart, and they're wanting to bring a message into somebody from the past. Okay, and uh, in this row we have the Knight of cups here. So the individual, the Knight of Cups, possibly the individual, could be wanting to bring in a message, but they were left out in the cold. Okay, They were left out in the cold by somebody. Why? Because something came to an end. There was deception there. Okay, They were being patient with somebody, trying to deal with this, this deception, whatever, but they just can't. They're moving away from that situation. They don't want to be involved in it anymore. Okay, They're good. You know what I'm saying? They're good with that. So let's find out here what we got next in this story. Okay, what else do we have for January? I'm sorry, February 3rd, 2020. February 3rd, 2020. Let me do it again because I said that at the beginning. This is February 3rd, 
2020. So the next cards we have out are, we have the Empress. Okay. There is a Queen of Cups dealing with the Empress or she, you know what? I'm going to be straight with you guys. When it comes to these types of cards, the Queen of Cups is the Empress. All right. The Queen of Cups is the Empress in this type of deck. Okay. We have the Empress here. We also have the Queen of Cups there. So this is this is Empress energy. Empress energy right here, right in, right in your face. Okay. And then we also have another Empress over here. And so what I'm getting kind of so far is somebody is, we have an Empress here and we have an Empress here. And, you know, I think the Empress is actually dealing with the Queen of Coins. Okay. This could be two lovers. Okay. But this is the individual story of the Empress. And this is the story of the Empress dealing with the Queen of Coins. All right. So let's see what's next here. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. So the King of, of Pentacles is trying to start something new uh, with somebody, right? And um, next we have the Two of Rods. Somebody could be thinking about their future now, looking out into the future. Do I see myself with this person or should I just take my own journey? So they're trying to make a choice on what they think might be the best, uh, you know, choice for them. Somebody here. Okay, male or female doesn't matter. Um, let's see what we have next here. Let's see what we have next here for February 3rd, 2020. Extra, extra. Read all about it. We have here now the chariot. So it looks like the Empress is going to take a chariot ride somewhere with somebody. Might be just by herself. All right. She might just move forward by herself without anybody. We also have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. So the Empress could be uh, this Empress, whoever this is, if they're separate, you know, something's been a burden. It looks like they might be giving, letting go of somebody holding this Queen of Coins energy because it's too much of a burden. And this person uh, might have tried to move forward with another person in that energy, that Queen of, uh, that Wheel of Fortune energy, but I, I think it didn't work out didn't work out too good. This might be a, a same-sex relationship. We also have the Ace of Swords here. Now somebody is either going to cut someone off or come in with the truth. And I, I tend to think, well, okay, in this, in this row, I do feel that whoever's coming in with this energy is coming in with the truth, right? They're going to talk to you about emotions and they're going to be honest about it. Okay. Now this person is different though, because this person is also coming in with emotions, but that shit ain't true. That's, that's like a, a, a bullshit. It's a, uh, they're coming in because they don't want something. They don't want somebody to get shocked up with this person. So this person's going to come in this person who, who's not even really showing up here because maybe they're not even a king yet. Maybe it is that, that night. We don't want no knights, Right. So, and this is somebody who sees you as, you know, their future. They want, they think that, that you're good for their future, but but what they're thinking about is they're thinking about money. I mean, they want to work on this, but they got money on their mind. Okay, so uh, they might be looking at this empress over here, who is financially stable. This one and trying to come into that empress, but I think the empress is going to move forward. She she might move forward uh, with love someone else with someone else, or she might actually accept that love, or or she might just love herself and move on with herself. Okay, because if there's no, um, I mean, it's not all about money, right? It's not all about sex, right? There's all, also about, you know, men, mental security, you know, emotional security, you know, um, something like that. So love isn't all about sex, okay? Love isn't all about having money. All right. I just, just thought I'd just add that in there. I don't know why I felt the need to say it like that, too. Sorry, you guys. We also have the moon here. Okay. So there are some secrets. This empress is holding some secrets. Uh, she might be not saying that she has money or she may not be saying that she wants to take a journey elsewhere without somebody. Yeah. See, we have the queen of of uh, we have the empress here also and it, it seems like this empress was was dealing with the queen of coins. It was a lover. Okay. So <clears throat> this empress 
could have been dealing with the Queen of Coins lover. And yes, maybe same sex. Could be male or female, male, male, female, female, however you want to put that. But uh, it looks like those two are lovers. And then we have the sun here. And then we have uh, somebody's going to come in with the truth. And this is the king of pentacles and the king of slash king of swords. That person with maybe both of those uh, uh, energies in their chart. They're going towards the sun. And they're coming towards the sun. They want to tell the truth. They want financial security. They want to tell the truth. They want to put throw everything out there on the table, right? <clears throat> and then I do have this person here trying to make a choice. So... This person here may have been hurt in the past. They're going to come into you and they're going to talk to you maybe about deception uh, or come in and talk about deception to somebody about how they've been hurt. Somebody ripped them off. Um, it's just, it was bad. So it has to do with money. They tried to work something out with somebody. Just It, it just wasn't good. It, it wasn't good at all. But, but it could also be that this person is coming in and trying to, um, they've been thrown out in the cold. So they're coming to you trying to tell you that they want to work things out with you and they're going to come in all lovey-dovey about it saying, oh, I see you in my future. We need to be together. We're soulmates, blah, blah, blah. And, and you know, you're going to have to make a choice or somebody's going to have to make a choice here on whether or not they're going to go along with that, if they're going to believe that. Okay, because I don't know. I see the deception card here. Now, either this person has been deceived or whoever they're coming into, they're going to deceive them. So be careful right there. That's like an iffy answer. It's like a maybe answer, you know, because we don't know for sure. We don't know exactly what happened. In this row, this empress, it looks like she wants to move forward on her own. She she might be moving away from a situation. You know, she might have come into some money. She's moving in away from a situation, okay? Um, if she's dealing with the queen of coins, like in this row, then uh, she's going to want to move away from the Queen of Coins. She might have seen the Queen of Coins uh, as or actually not moving away. Yes, moving away. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, this person, these two queens, they were in a relationship, okay? And one of the queens, and remember I said, it could even though I said this two queens, it could be two women, it could be two men, it could be a man and a woman still because a man can be in his female energy, okay? Just, just remember that, okay? That's a scenario too. But also... Um, we do have that the Empress feels like she had to put somebody out in the cold or somebody put her out in the cold. And this is from a relationship. All right. And um, they thought that this was their wheel of fortune. They tried to manifest this whole thing. But all it did was it all it did was basically just put somebody in their head thinking about, oh, I want to move forward. Is it going to happen? And it just ended up being a burden. Right. And this is somebody's lover. Okay, Queen of Coins is the lover of the Empress. Okay, so <clears throat> moving on from that, we have this, this king right here holding the energies of the King of Coins and the King of uh, Swords. So this person is giving whatever's going on in their life a lot of thought. They're giving it a lot of thought. They want to start new. They want to start new in a good, honest relationship. They want to be grounded, financially secure. They want to be balanced in their life, okay? They want a good, uh, a good, well-rounded relationship, right? And they see somebody as their son, all right? And um, now, here's another scenario, okay? This uh, emperor, this king of, of pentacles, could be dealing with a king of wands. Just like in this row, could be same-sex relationship, but in the male energy, okay? In the male energy. Um, I do see here that this, uh, this king of, of swords here could be watching the queen of, of coins, Okay, she, he could be watching the Queen of Coins. This could be one person holding that energy and, and be involved with the Queen of Coins, King and, Queen, King, King and Queen of Coins, right? And then we have the, the King of, of Swords possibly holding that energy in their head, thinking about things like, oh my God, how am I going to come forward to this person? How can I tell them the truth? Are they going to end this relationship with me? How is this going to be? Because they might see them as a son. But I do see that uh, these two people are involved. These two people, this could be the same person. It could be uh, two uh, same sex or just two energies of male energies uh, getting involved. Or it could be the same person, right? But this person, like I said, they want to come in. They want to come in honestly. They want to tell the truth. Uh, they want financial security. They want honesty in the relationship. 
okay, and they believe that someone is actually their sunshine. All right. They're just trying to, and they're going to come in emotionally too. They're going to come in like that Knight of Cups. But, uh, but remember, you know, I don't see any uh, Knight of Wands here. And, and then you know what? That's kind of good. I'm telling you, because that means that nobody here is going to want to come in and, you know, because you remember the Knight of Wands, they, they like to just come in and throw their wand around and then bail on you. And then that sucks, right? Yeah. But I do see a lot of cups messages. I see messages of financial security. Okay. I see somebody wanting just to move on alone because they're financially secure and they don't want to deal with the drama. I also see, uh, could be two same sex relationships or it could be, uh, just people holding their male and female energies. Okay. And I, I tend to think that a lot of the ladies out there you you guys are holding some male energies right now because uh, you're coming more into your power, speaking your truth. You know what I'm saying? And that's good. That's real good. So in the end here, though, ultimate choice is, you know, somebody's going to have to make that ultimate choice here on whatever's going on. All right. Somebody does want to work. People want to work stuff out right now. People, it looks like people are wanting to work stuff out and people are iffy too, because they don't know if they just want to move on by themselves. It might be a, like, I'm done with all this drama. I'm tired of this. I don't want to deal with drama people anymore. Um, I want to pe uh, deal with people more on my level. You know what I'm saying? Low key. I don't want to hang out with people who are below me. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? If they don't have nothing to offer me, I ain't got nothing to offer them. You know, because that's not fair. You want equal give and take in a relationship, right? So, you know, we just have to, Is this is uh, the Monday morning, so we have the whole week. So there's a lot of choices that are having to be made here. A lot of people uh, thinking about what, how they can do this, how they're going to come into, what they see in their future, right? So let's go ahead and grab these and let's find out what the universe is going to say about uh, this situation. Uh, what do we have for February 3rd, 2020? February 3rd, 2020. February 3rd, 2020. February 3rd, 2020. February 3rd, 2020. What do we got? Okay, so first, first two cards out, we have... <clears throat> self-worth right see people are trying to figure out if they you know like i said people might be coming into their power females could be coming into their power uh and not letting anybody step all over them anymore they be, could be coming into their male energy powers right we also have facade so somebody could be a uh, faking it right somebody uh could be faking a relationship right now or they're in a relationship that they're not real happy with Okay, somebody got left out in the cold and they're feeling it now. All right, maybe this whole time they were with somebody, they didn't really even like them, and they got put out in the cold because they were faking this relationship to maybe make someone else jealous, something like that. All right, that could be it too. And it was a big uh, facade the whole time. They weren't, maybe they weren't really lovers because you do see here, I, I don't know, this deck, they make the, make the guy look like he's so sad in the relationship. So um, I have a feeling that somebody, you know, was in a relationship and maybe one person does love them and the other person was just like, you know, I was just with you because trying to, you know, get the attention of someone else, but it didn't work. It backfired on them. And now they're feeling stuck in whatever situation they're in. You know, or they got themselves in that situation. Next two cards we are, we have our rejection. So, yeah, this person is watching. You want his son, doesn't know how to come in, wants to start new. Because, you know, maybe he's feeling like he's going to be rejected. Release. Yeah, I guess somebody's going to make a choice to release somebody. Okay, um, it, it's going to be released. Now, this is the row that had the um, the tower card there. So, so maybe that person who's coming in with that emotional message is going to come in and tell you, hey, I have released a situation. It was toxic. It wasn't good for me. And now I'm coming into you. Will you please make a choice? You want me or not? You know, so that, this is like a quick, somebody wants, to, you know, wants an answer quick. All right. But you know what? If you haven't spoken to somebody in a while and then all of a sudden they come in, they want you to answer them well, real quick. Well, too damn bad. You're going to have to wait. What do you think? You've been gone for so many months. I, you know, I'm going to make that that quick decision for you. Where have you been? I got questions. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be like that because <laughs> someone is in their power now. Someone is in their power, possibly holding that male energy and they want answers. Why? Because they have self-worth now. 
Okay, they're going to show it to you too. They're going to show you that they got that self worth. And if you don't see it, you know, so long, sucker. You know, because I'm in my I'm in my power now. I'm comfortable. I can take care of myself. You maybe you're holding too many secrets here, right? Mm -hmm. So I do see this empress. She's wanting to move forward. All right. Why? Because there's just too many secrets. Somebody's holding too many secrets, right? She might want to move forward without that person. She knows her worth now. Yeah, she definitely does. She's she's in her power. And then we have this right here. This is the uh, Empress and the Queen of Coins. They might just be getting into separation here because, yeah, it was, it was all a facade. It was something fake. They were together. Uh, somebody tried to... Uh, show off somebody maybe or act like they were lovers but they're really not because they wanted to make someone jealous something like that but even in this situation you know maybe the other person that they used as like you know hey let's pretend maybe the the person that they used actually did fall in love with them and they're just like oh my god i want out of this now and the other person might be saying but i love you now <laughs> you know what i mean it's 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 kind of hard this situation seems like <clears throat> And then with these these two kings here, the the coins and the swords, um, it feels like either they're going to reject something. So may, they might be coming in with the truth, rejecting a person, or about that they did reject somebody. Or when they do come in, in with this information, they're going to be rejected. Okay, they might be rejected because if they're coming in and trying to be all, you know, militant and ordering people around, they're going to get rejected. You know, because I do know now that a lot of people here are kind of coming into their own powers. They're kind of, you know, speaking their mind now. They know their self-worth now. Not let, wanting to let anybody push them around anymore. You know? It's it's no more what's mine and mine and what what's mine is 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 yours and what's yours is ours. No, there's no more of that. It's 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 more like, you know, I make mine you got to make yours and then we can put together. But, you know, if you're not making, then you're not going to be in this relationship because I'm not supporting anybody. You know, it's got to be equal give and take here, too. I don't know why that popped in my head. There's no equal give and take cards or anything like that here. But that just came into my head. So that's for somebody out there. And I do see that um, <clears throat> somebody may have to be releasing somebody or they have released somebody. Okay. So, I mean, that's good. I mean, maybe not everyone's going to get together, but at least people are going to be standing in their power, telling, speaking their mind, telling the truth, because, you know, they're not trying to get into unwanted relationships. You know, people know what they want now. You know, they've been through so much, been through so much trauma. They know now what they want. You leave a person alone long enough, and they're going to figure out what they want in life. You know what I'm saying? They're going to figure out, well... You know, you didn't, you weren't around when I, I needed you and you just taught me how to live without you. And, and now I'm good, you know, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and find out what we have in the stars here today. Ta -da! Okay. <laughs> let's see. Let me, let me just uh, gather them up and see what's going to come out here. So we do have loss. So there was a loss in a situation. Yeah. Somebody lost somebody. Okay, and um, darn, we also have losing, loss and losing. So they're, maybe they're losing, uh, somebody uh, may have lost somebody or losing a bad, losing a battle, some sort of battle. It could, you know, I don't know why I thought this. It could be uh, somebody's health. All right. There could have been a loss in the family or somebody's uh, losing the battle here. We also have a positive. Okay, try to stay positive. Universe wants you to try and stay positive in all situations. You know, try to stay positive best you can. Believe that you can get better. Believe that you can get better or this can be fixed. All right. Just, uh, just stay nice and graceful as you are. Okay. So just because you might lose a situation or you're losing, don't lose that, that positive attitude. Okay. Stay graceful as you are and believe that you can move forward. Um, uh, I think you're going to be inventive on the situation. Maybe put more of your creative, creative talents to work just to, you know, get you through things. Because I will say that when people are, like, depressed or they've been through something, those are when they're, like, the most artistic. You know what I'm saying? So you might become inventive or create something fabulous. And then I do see and soon after that you're just going to you're gonna have a new crush. There's going to be a new crush here somewhere. 
all right? Or somebody is, is crushing on somebody, crushing on you, you know, back and forth crushes. And that's nice. You know, we go through loss to learn, right? We go through these losses in our lives so we can learn. But all we have to do is stay positive and believe that everything's going to work out. You know, stay that graceful, good person you are. Don't change. Don't become like a, a dick or a bitch because somebody did that to you. Stay stay that nice person you are. Be that creative person. You know, re or reinvent yourself. You can do that too because a crush is coming in. And you don't want to show him or show her the broken you, the, the, the one who lost, the one who's losing the battle. Okay? Just because somebody... Uh, did you wrong doesn't mean that you need to turn into like, you know, some negative, mean, nasty person. No, you don't have to do that. Because I do see you're going to have the world. And it could be in regards to that crush. Wow. Okay. So that was your extra, extra. Read all about it for February 3rd, 2020. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. Just a reminder, please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. That would be great because the more you do that, the more they get out. And I'm sure a lot of people would like to see this. All right. Once again, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.